Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate SG-1. Today's episode, Senator Robert Kinsey, Part 1. And here we go. Robert Kinsey was a United States politician serving as vice president to Henry Haynes until his forced resignation in 2004. During his career, he fiercely opposed the Stargate program and was part of multiple unsuccessful efforts to shut it down. 1998 Kinsey was a senator and chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee, which controlled the Stargate program's budget. He successfully argued that the program would be shut down, citing the colossal waste of money and the the threat to Earth it represented. Upon meeting SG-1 and learning of their reports, Kinsey refused to change his mind, instead ordering the program be shut down for good, while insisting that the U.S. military would defeat the Gua'uld and God was with them. However, the program was reinstated after his plan to defeat Apophis's motherships threatened Earth failed. While SG-1, having disobeyed orders and left Earth to check a gate address that Dr. Daniel Jackson had acquired during his brief visit to an alternate reality, they successfully destroyed both ships. With proof of the program's importance, the president overruled his decision, something that the president had previously considered to be political suicide. The year 2000. At first, Kinsey appeared to simply be a short-sighted politician pursuing his agenda. However, his interest in the Stargate went much deeper than that. In 2000, Colonel Jack O'Neill discovered that Kinsey was the politician protecting the rogue NID agents that had been causing trouble for Stargate Command, and that he was tied to various corporate and business interests hoping to use the Stargate for financial gain first, and the defense of Earth as a secondary consideration. As a result of his actions, Major General George S. Hammond was briefly forced to retire and the SGC placed under the the command of Major General Henry Bauer, who placed the organization in a more aggressive stance. However, O'Neill, collaborating with Harold Mayborn, managed to acquire incriminating evidence of Kinsey's ties to the NID and his off-the-books funding. He blackmailed the senator into allowing Hammond to take control of the program once again, or the evidence would go public. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.